You've probably heard the term revenue before, and you might be wondering what that means. Some people just think, oh, revenue is sales, and, and that's that. Uh, there's a little bit more to it than that. And so we're going to kind of define revenue specifically in this video, and then give some examples of the different types of revenues that exist. Uh, now, the, the definition of revenue uh, that we have is, is, is pretty complex, but I'm going to break it down, and, and then I think by illustrating with an example, it'll be a little bit easier to understand. So when we think of what revenue technically is uh, we're thinking of, of inflows uh, of enhancement of assets and increase in assets somehow or even a settlement of a liability uh, something like unearned revenue becoming revenue becoming earned uh, that, that is basically resulting from uh, so, some kind of event you delivered or produced goods uh, you rendered a service if it's a service firm there's some kind of activity uh, that, that generates some kind of enhancement or, or increase in the assets. But here's, here's the key, and here's what distinguishes revenue between something like, like a gain. Uh, that's that it has to be somehow related to the firm's core business operations. Okay, so, so let's, let's kind of give myself a little space here. So you might have thought, heard of like a firm having a gain or a loss. So you say, okay, there's some, there's some kind of gain on a transaction. And then we think about revenue, and we say, okay, well, wh what are some types of things here that, that are different? Well, when we think of revenue, we've got sales, revenue from sales, and then we've got revenue from, like, interest. Put money in the bank, we want to earn interest. Uh, we invest in other firms. We have dividends, dividend revenue. Um, so we might even, it might even have some rent revenue. Uh, if we, we have real estate and we intend to rent it, we're a real estate firm or something like that. But but now a gain, now this is typically more like some kind of one-time uh, item or so, or something that really isn't related to this, this idea of the core business. It's not really how we make money. Uh, for example, uh, we have some asset uh, that we're not really holding with the intention of, of making money on, but but it's old and decrepit and we decide, oh, we're going we're gonna to sell it. So maybe this is some kind of some kind of one-time thing uh, or or an asset uh, that let me just give an example this might be a little bit easier to understand so let's say let's say that we have a you, you own a restaurant okay so you own a restaurant so let's think about what are the types of things that would be revenue and then what are the types of things that that would be a gain so something that really just jumps out uh, with a restaurant is obviously if you uh, sell food. So you, you have a, a restaurant, you, you make food for people, so you sell food, uh, you sell soft drinks, you sell all these different types of things. Maybe you have some extra money, you put it in the bank, uh, you put some money in the bank and, and you earn interest on it. And, and this is you know basically how, how you're making money, right? You're basically, you're preparing food and you're, you're selling that food. Uh, now when we think about a gain, let's think about something like your work truck. Right, so you have a work truck that you use uh, every day. You have some pickup, and you, and you bring food uh, to, to to a restaurant, and it, it gets old, and and you say, "I want to sell the truck." So you you sell this truck, and let's say that you you had bought it for let's say a hundred dollars, or and and now you're selling it for for one fifty, and let's just ignore things like depreciation. Let's just make it really easy. So you, you sell it for fifty dollars more uh, than what you paid for it. So you have you have a little you have a little enhancement here of your firm, right? You have something that have what do we call that? Well we call it a gain. Right? You have a gain. Now it increases. If we think about the income statement, if we think about the income statement, both revenue and gains, those are going to increase net income, right? All else equal, if we have a gain, we have revenue, uh, these things increase uh, profitability of the firm. But what we're doing, we're, we're kind of separating these things out on the income statement uh, so that we know that, so investors or whoever knows, okay, well, the gain really, this is something that really isn't related to the core operations of the firm, right? You, you own a restaurant, you don't make money buying and selling work trucks. That's not why you got the work truck. Uh, now, if it was a car dealership, and then you you bought and sold a truck, now that would be revenue in that case. 
Uh, so, so basically, we need to think about the firm. Think about what are the the core operations, and the core operations are going to have to do with with revenue, and then any other kind of of inflow or or something is going to be a gain.